So I've just had my daily drive-by by the Chinese woman who always drives by and stares at me here, but that's okay. Today, my presentation is like I do with anyone who gives me the time to talk about my mission one-on-one. -on -one. So this is my front slide that I created last year, and you can see it's not color as it was on my computer. My organization is St. Thomas Temple of Light, and openly this is the Homeless Initiative Introduction. My moniker is Dragon Priest, and I am the Dragon Priest. That is technically should only be ever a picture of me, and no one else should be there. Light provision is a part of me, and a young black man that works at Wendy's is always trying to play at me like he's working on a movie thing and all this, and my guess is he's a part of the players who've harmed me. Ask the people who have these materials to explain the Buddha, or do they change it out with a different picture for themselves, like a black poverty or white poverty or whoever the hell else they might have put in that space. But ask them to explain the hospitality, education, leveling, and provision space, and they probably can't. It spells help. Now I'm going to explain it here, and someone will try to utilize it, and that's not okay with me. This is intellectual property, and it belongs to me. The reason I talk about hospitality is you're extending hospitality when you walk up to someone with grace of the Lord or whatever you believe in, whatever deity you belong to, or you, so you allege. Because if you're harming someone, you're not a part of any house of God. And openly you're offering them hospitality, saying, gosh, you look like you might be in some struggle. And that's the hospitality you're extending, the grace you're offering, without expecting them to tell you everything. Because you're a stranger to them. Why should they do that? And openly, then you're extending the hospitality of the question. Well, I'm wondering if there's something I might do to help you today. Do you need some food or some shelter or some clothing today? I don't know if I can help you, but I have some resources and networking capabilities in my social groups that might be able to help you today. The reason we talk about today is pretty straightforward because people don't have time to wait for you to get your shit together over three weeks. Lives can be lost in that period of time. More abuses can occur in that period of time. And police harassment and technological abusers continue to destroy people in that lifetime. And I'm the perfect example of that. And I believe it's what the federal government wanted me to prove through this whole process. Then you offer them some education. Well, these are my capabilities today. I'm more than happy to provide you a little cash so that you can walk into the store of your choice and purchase something. Here's five or ten dollars. Or, I have some abilities on a credit card. Would it be all right for me to buy you a gift card? Now, generally speaking, I don't advise people to do it on their credit card. I really encourage them to buy gift cards with cash so that they cannot be recharged by the employee. They might be utilized by the employee after the person leaves, but unfortunately, that's abuses in America on credit and fraud at companies. That's on the company employee, not you. And openly, I also encourage them to give the parameters of what they can do. For example, I'm going to take your list of the things you need and I'm going to run to the store. But I'm going to write those things down so I don't muck it up. Because your choices are yours. And what you need today are based on your needs today, not my ideas about what you need today. So the concept of education is really about the parameters in which you can function. And what you can say is, well, I can sit in the parking lot and make a few calls to see if any of my friends know of a job for you. Or, well, I may not be able to buy you a tent, but maybe I can call a few friends and see if they'd help donate to buying a tent for a homeless person like you. And then you can direct me where you've done your kind of evaluative shopping or your window shopping to see where there might be one that's just right for you and your circumstances of being on concrete sometimes and not on the grass because there's too many varmints in the grasses, as you know.